best days ever, bro. Never did I think I would see this again. Listen, Lana Del Rey, new album just came out today. Whew, finally. Number two, The Gulf Return. Like, are you kidding? Do you read Archer? <laughs> Anyone who has played Madden Mobile knows but he was so nasty. He was like a bronze or a silver with 97, 98 speed. Back so much fun. Everybody had this on their team in Madden Mobile. It was like 800 coins and he just sh shredded it. It's really a nostalgic dude for me. Never did I ever think we'd see this again. Madden dropped a new Team Affinities, Team Diamonds, whatever promo. I'm gonna be totally honest. I hate that they do this. Why are the best players in Madden always players that aren't in the league anymore? But all my whining clearly didn't matter that much because five foot eight, 100 173 pound Dree Archer is without a doubt the best halfback in the game. I'm so excited to use him again. There's gonna be so much nostalgia. 98 speed, 98 excel, 98 agility. It's, it's Tyreek Hill in halfback form. It's, it's, no, Tyreek Hill is Dree Archer in wide receiver form. Also, I don't think he has a power up. I would love to power him up to a straight 99, but I don't think it, it exists. Oh, it does? It's real expensive. I'm not too surprised by that, but shit, let's do it. Dree Archer, ladies and gentlemen, powered up. This man will be 99 speed. An end game golden ticket halfback. Basically, Basically, the only thing is he's really small and he's really light. And I know that hit sticks in Madden, they used to only be calculated by your hit power. But then Madden was kind of like, okay, that's dumb because, you know, what if Vita Vea hits like an 170 pound Dree Archer? He should get flattened, right? So they started to factor in like height and weight and the actual physics of it as they should. So I'm a little scared, but we'll have to see. Damn, look at how much training it costs to power this dude up. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right, he can literally have five abilities because he's a gold 99 now, which is crazy. I have, this would be my first. Why is Dree Archer the first person I've ever seen this with? I think first one free is definitely gonna be solid on him. Now we gotta decide. So he's an elusive back, so he can get evasive for pretty cheap. He can get human joystick, but if AAP is not worth it. So we'll start with evasive. Backfield master, uh, reach for it. Always a clutch one. Recuperation. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be a one-man army, so we want him to recover from fatigue. And then energizer, replenish stamina after successful skill move. Let's just keep him at full speed the whole time time with these five abilities. Seven AP. Honestly, that's not crazy. For five abilities, seven AP is not bad. And look at this shit. He has wide receiver as his secondary position. So you could actually give him this and he keep chemistries at wide receiver. You could have two Tyree kills out there if you did that. There's no doubt in my mind this is the best card in the game right now. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because, you know, he could be a fumble machine, but I have a feeling we're going to go absolutely ballistic. All right, cool. Team looks solid. This is just a weird hodgepodge of a bunch of stuff I have on my back and play team, but it's a 95 overall. This team's going to do great. My goal is two 200 rushing yards. The only time I ever got close was when I used 97 honors Derrick Henry, but that dude rage quit too quick. So I'm hoping this guy will stick it out with us and make sure I got Steelers unis on and then let's hop into this game. <laughs> Steelers 75th anniversary classics and then Steelers base light. Let's get it, boys. I have not been this excited for Madden gameplay probably all year. Let's go. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to partner with Dr. Squatch on today's video. Look at that beauty right there. They make these incredibly cool all natural bars of soap for men and they're the bomb. These things are so cool. As you guys know, I'm a YouTuber. I do sponsored deals, but this one's different. When I got the Dr. Squatch bars in the mail for this video and I actually started using them, oh my God, they're so awesome. They sent me three different. Pine tar, deep sea goat's milk, and grapefruit IPA. A personal favorite is pine tar. Number one, it just looks so cool. That's awesome. Smells incredible. I get comments on it all the time. And my favorite part is it actually feels natural. Before, I was always using like those giant tubs of like the hand body wash stuff, and it felt like really artificial. It did not make my body feel good, I'll be totally honest. Honestly, if anything, I want you guys to try a bar of Dr. Squatch and compare it to whatever you're using right now and just feel the difference. It's crazy. Also, of course, as you guys know, I have a code for you. New customers can get 20% off on orders of $20 or more. All you gotta do is go to drsquatch.com and use my code MMG at checkout. There's always a link in the top of the description. It'll take you right there. Check it out, boys. And if you do get pine tar, it smells so good. I'm not even kidding. It smells so good. Doggy Squad, thank you for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Let's go, Dree Archer. One man army this shit, boy. Damn. You got a squad, dude. This is gonna be tough. All right, let's play some defense first so that Dree can get the ball. And work done is gonna go off. Jill. First and 10. Let me see what you got. We got a little slants. Oh. Papa, Papa means we were so close to that. Sheesh. Dude, it's such a good day too. They nerfed one step ahead. They made one step ahead six ability points, I believe, today. All right, let's see what we can do here. 
He's gonna throw underneath to Warwick Dunn, who's having a game, but he gets lit up right there, bro. You gotta be getting tired. Third and two, big, big, big stop. Let's just play this puppy underneath. We got this, no run plays, no run plays, no run plays. That's good though, fourth and inches, right? Gotta be, does he run it again? He runs it again, get there! That's a stop, it's gotta be! He got that by such a thin margin. I can't, I don't even wanna know how close it was. All right, so he's gonna go with the slip screen again, except this time he's got Mike Allstott in. Warwick Dunn got tired finally, and he loses five yards right there. Second and 15, let's just clamp this puppy up here. Yeah? Does he throw underneath? We kind of figured he might. Oh, I missed my big hit. I overcommitted. He loves throwing underneath. Third and six. All right, let's play these underneath. Let's play these underneath. He's gonna throw something small. Yup. He likes his checkdowns for sure. Let's see what he goes for here. He's gotta go for something deeper than that. Oh, okay, he's going up. And that's a turnover. I'm glad Bryce Callahan didn't catch that. All right, we're on offense. We stopped him on his opening drive. And now Dre Archer can get the ball. It's gonna be very obvious right out the gates though what my game plan is. My game plan is going to be Dre Archer times 100. But hey, he's got wheels, bro. So let's, <gasps> he's so fucking fast. Oh, we feel so good. Ha. Okay, that sounded a little weird. That sounded a little weird, but we started out with six yards and a very simple run to the outside. I'm very happy with that. All right, second and four. We're gonna go straight up the gut here. Derek Watts gonna lead the way. Ooh, Dree. Only gonna grab three, but honestly, that's solid. Third and one, same thing. Same shit, different day. You better run, commit. Oh, yeah, he's getting ready. He's getting ready, but we dodged him. Woo! Dodged his user. Three rushes, 10 yards. All right, let's throw this ball. He knows what I'm doing. At this point, it's pretty clear I'm doing the same thing over and over, so let's switch it up. Ooh, just barely got that pass up. I'm just gonna run a stretch again. Look at that, bro. It's the whole offense. Energize, recuperation, reach for it, evasive, backfield master. Set that edge up. Set that edge up, boys! That's what I'm talking about. Clean. We gotta make a juke or something, though. We gotta do something crazy. Yup. Yes, sir. All right, solid here. Oh, I tried to go for the evasive spin. Didn't get it. Honestly, he's just so fast. He's just picking up edge yardage. Not, not making any crazy moves yet, but we don't need them. Let's see if this right edge will set up. Kind of hoping not really. Also not the world's most intentional spin, I won't lie. We can put him in the passing game. I'm a little impartial to it, cause you know, I wanna run the ball with him. Oh, and that's why. Oh for two, Lamar, come on my man. Third and seven. The only time I'll run a halfback dive on third and seven is when Dre Archer is my halfback, except he just got pulled out of the game. So let's try that again. All right, call the time out, get my boy some stamina. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's see those blocks, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's another first down. I'm gonna no huddle this one. Yup, don't even ask questions. He knows what I'm doing. Can he stop it? It's always the question. Ooh, he run commits. We get two yards and a two minute warning. Let's see if we can get him to run commit just like that again. And maybe I can get the edge. Cause if you run commit up the middle and you run to the edge, sometimes you get a touchdown out of that. Let's see. Oh, that's solid. That's what I'm talking. Get the joke, get another. Oh, he got lit up, but he took it. No fumbles. Not today, boys. So what's his fatigue at right now? How tired is he? How do I even check that? There's a way I can check it, I think. He's not even that tired, which is crazy. That's what recuperation and energizer does for you. All right, setting up that edge again. Whoa, look at underneath this. That's so cool. Cause I looked at his fatigue, it kept that green. I've never seen that before. I love that. Wait, that was so cool. Can I get that again? I was like holding this and then I snapped the ball. Will it do it again? Oh, that's so sick. I don't even know why that's that cool. Cause it's not, but I just, I really like that. Damn, we're chewing the hell out of this clock. This ground pound is absurd right now. Third and two, we're not breaking off anything big, but I gotta keep handing them the ball to at least give them a shot to do that, right? All right, here comes the big run commit. Yup, there comes a the big run commit. Reach for it. Oh, you get first down right there. All right, we're gonna pass this ball. <laughs> well, maybe we're not actually gonna pass this ball. Second and 14 with 20 seconds on the clock. I'm just gonna hand it off to Dre Archer. See what happens! Go! 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 Get a spin! Oh! That's so lame! I totally had it. How do you not get him, bro? I guess I could have juked instead, but it seemed like a toss up at that point. First and goal, I have no timeouts left. We just gotta get the touchdown right now. Get to that edge. Get to that edge. <laughs> 99 speed, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 agility. That was literally Dre Archer on halfback dives and stretches all the way down the field. Uh, and I'll give him a halfback zone. I know this play is horrible, but why not? <laughs> Get to the <laughs> It's literally Madden Mobile, bro. That was literally Madden Mobile. That's the shit we would do in Madden Mobile. Oh my God. <laughs> Against the goal line. Eight to zero, Dre Archer. Dre Archer versus the world right now, man. That had to have been so frustrating, bro, to play against. Like, that was so cheese, what I was just doing. 
No lie. He runs the ball. I guess he just wanted to have to be over. Few plays I haven't ran yet. Oh, on trap. I'm pretty sure this play is solid. Uh, I haven't ran any counters yet. Counters are solid in this game. So I'm gonna try some new stuff out on this drive. Let's see how 0-1 trap goes right out the gates. Gonna motion Todd Heap the goat over. And then I should get a clean lane up the middle here. Look at that pull block. Wait, Dre, Dre. Oh my God. What a joke. You can't catch me. You can't catch me, no way. Let's go. Dude, he's gone. No, you bitch, no. How? Player stats, player stats, rushing before he quits, no. You're a bum. I saw a split second of it. So I know that when I go back in the footage, I'll be able to see it. Hello, I am the same TikTok thought that my creator hates to hear. Stop doing that shit, I can read, bro. I don't need you to get the robot Siri to read it for me, I can read. I know you can read, motherfucker, but allow me to read to you anyways. You clearly love Alexa more than me, so let me not make this easy for you. Mr. Archer ran the ball 15 times for 170 yards. Wow. He averaged 11 yards per carry. Wow. He got two touchdowns. Wow. Okay, I am done now. Back in the dungeon I will go. Love you, Papa. By the way, don't punish your editor. He is sorry. Cap. <laughs> Dree Archer, bro. Oh my god. What an absolute savage. That was insane. That, that run, bro. Oh my god. That was an 80, was that 89 yard run? I would have easily had 200 rushing yards if people play the game. But that's the problem, bro. If you're smoking somebody, like, they're gonna quit. It's just gonna happen. Alright, boys. Honestly, I feel like the same way as with the Derek Henry video. I can't really top that. Plus, I want to get some gameplays to some other dudes. They dropped a lot of cool shit, but wow. 99 speed. 99 excel. 99 agility. 98 change of direction. 98 break tackle what an absolute menace to society dre archer is i love you boys i can't thank you enough for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video hey peace out